How you doing, Scotty Bear? Back with another video. Uh, this video here, uh, more about the Tatum plugin uh, for WordPress and minting NFTs and some of the issues behind it, what I faced um, setting up a store to sell NFTs for a couple clients. Um, this seems to be one of the more interesting plugins uh, however, I have stumbled across many uh, things with this plugin that I'd like to share and document and, and review because if you're considering using this plugin, uh, I actually have a, a lot invested in this. Um, it's been a little bit buggy. Uh, I, I will say that uh, you, you get quite a, a bit um, less than what it implies. Now, um, the main thing here is you need your client to buy an NFT, like maybe on OpenSea or one of the uh, many exchanges out there and bypass those costs and mint it uh, via MetaMask wallet here on WooCommerce uh, on, of course, the WordPress platform. Now, it is pretty nice to be able to take the... Um, the ether uh they do have five different um eth situations here but we're most mostly interested in the mat um the matic and of course the eth now the main thing behind this is that uh, we've had a little bit of success what i mean by that is we have tested it the fees i will say the fees seem very reasonable for the amount that we're trying to charge for the nft um you can see that we've completed me many of the transactions on here the main and of course the most desirable part of this is will the nft actually show up bang on their metamask account right i mean that's the main situation here and I'm going to try to get the, my MetaMask to pull up here on my phone. And if you look here, uh, it shows, of course, I don't know if you can see this or whatnot, but it shows an NFT in your wallet. And so um, now I have uh, talked to Tidham and I have been in the Discord and they say that it can the best results I've had has been using the Polygon, which is, uh, I'm going to move over here, the products real quick. I apologize on screen. I'm hoping I'm explaining this well, but if you look here, um, you can edit. I'm going to go to the NFT because this is what like a, a dry mint or a, a a cold mint or whatever it's called. But you can go here on ETH and Polygon. Those are the two we have been using. We had success on the Polygon. However, now Tatum support says that you can't use the Ethereum unless you're using their um and I'm going to show you something here again. Ah, of course, I'm going to crash the website on, on stream here. So check this out. If you go in here. Sign in. Bear with me here. And if you go create API key, so you need this. They say that you can't mint on the Ethereum platform without enterprise. Now, that being said, that aside, uh, we have had some success. Like I said, we minted, you can see here, the token minted. And of course here, like I so said, we, we have tested a couple times. Um, like, and of course, like I said, we had the most success on Matic ETH uh, because we bought multiple 
APIs from Tatum. So um, their support has not been wonderful. And, and their Discord, um, you know, I feel like there's not a lot of people behind the scenes here at Tatum. That being said, let's also move to, so what can you expect here? So th this is the NFT, the NFT that we tested. Um, we also learned some stuff on OpenSea. You feel like you're going to sell your stuff and they're going to be available in the OpenSea wallet. Now, something interesting about this is that uh, when your buyer purchases the NFT, the best case scenario, the best case scenario here is your NFT is going to show up here under your client's wallet. Now I'm going to show you something interesting that uh, was posted from OpenSea. All items transferred from verified collection will be publicly visible on your profile by default. However, all transferred items from unverified collection will now be located under the hidden tab. So that's really the best case scenario for the person buying your NFT off your WordPress site using, uh, you know, uh, this Tenum plugin. Probably pronouncing that poorly. But, uh, and, and, and again, <coughs> now... The other situation you can do here is import the uh, plugin with the address. And w we have yet to successfully do that with the plugin. Like I said, we are a paying customer. Uh, we use the basic. Uh, we have had two successful runs. As you can see here, three. We've had two successful runs. Uh, paid a few people to help us with, with the plugin. So there's that. So I have some out of pocket as far as that goes. I would say mostly that I felt the plugin was mm, marginal. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a wonderful Saturday morning.